the new board of the Health and Safety Executive embarked upon the development of our new strategy. Uh, we decided that it was time to take account of the many changes that were going on around us, including this uh, media pressure, but also a lot of the confusion that we saw in terms of who was responsible for what in terms of managing health and safety, and to try and regain some of that territory and reposition and reset the course for health and safety. I hope that a number of you in this audience have already seen the strategy, are already familiar with it, but I started this address with our mission statement. And our mission statement in the new strategy is very important. Not only because of what it says we do, preventing workplace death, injury and ill health, but also in outlining and drawing some boundaries in terms of things that we don't do and where we don't see ourselves having an active or a leading role. Our mission truly is about prevention and everything that we do is aimed at avoiding harm while still enabling work to proceed. But our focus is on work activity, not on public safety, certainly not in the broader context that many, all too often it gets misinterpreted. Likewise, while it may be important to you in business, we in HSE recognise that we're not best placed to be the ones to manage it or monitor sickness absence. That doesn't mean that rehabilitation programmes are not important, of course they are but it's important that we all recognise where we are competent, where we have strengths, and where it's best for others to lead and show the way forward. 